Hey, what's going on YouTube? Man, I'm not a YouTube content creator. I'm a tutorialist. All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about how we can create these awesome energy type accent graphics that can help us prove stuff our motion graphics or can even be composited on top of footage to, you know, do some awesome VFX work. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So this is gonna be a fun tutorial. We're gonna be using a free plugin from Video Copilot, which is called Saber. And we're gonna be able to create these very easy energy effects to help spruce up our motion graphics. Or if you want to composite on top of video, you can use the same exact techniques to do so. Let's talk about how we can create these awesome energy streaks really quick. Let's jump into the tutorial. All right, and as always, you can download our project files off our website for free if you wanna follow along and break this down a little bit further. And you're also gonna be able to apply this to footage as well. I did this pretty quick just to show how you can do it, but I mostly want to get you started on the concept and you'll be able to do whatever you want to do. So what we're going to want to do is first go up to layer new solid and we can call this saber. Make comp size, click OK, and let's go to effect video copilot and saber. If you don't have saber from video copilot, I'll link in the description. They give it away for free, which is really awesome of them. So we'll go ahead and start using this. So first things first, you'll see the preset. This is awesome. They have some really cool stuff in here and we can set this to a preset that we want to use. I'll select core. I really like this one. And we can come here to glow color and we can change the color to whatever color we want. I can do like a purple and it doesn't really matter. It looks nice. So let's open up the flicker window here and let's increase the flicker intensity to like 50%. So there's like uh, a little bit of flicker going on throughout the entire animation. We can also go through some of the other settings real quick like distortion. And where it says distortion type, we can set this to energy. Also take a look at smoke. You get different looks this way. It's a nice way just to kind of change it up. And I like how subtle uh, this distortion type is. So what we have to do is we can come here and grab the pen tool and make sure your saber layer is selected. And what we'll do is we'll click a point right here at the bottom and we'll hold down shift to draw a straight line. And we can click a point off to the left here. You know, we can play the vertices here so we'll go around this curve. So this is the path that this streak is going to follow. So what we need to do here to make it follow this path, we need to go to customize core and where it says core type, you can set this to layer mask. Now it's going to uh, take the path of the mask, but we want to be able to animate this along the path. So what we'll do is come here to the begin beginning of the timeline and where it says end offset right here, we can set it down to 0%. So now we'll be able to animate this. So we'll add a keyframe for end offset. And let's come here to say like four or five seconds. So it'll be really slow. I like to slow for this. So we'll set this up to 100%. So then you'll see the entire glow going on there. Uh, we'll bring up those keyframes by hitting U on our keyboard. And let's go to like, I don't know, maybe second and a half. And we can add a keyframe for start offset. And we'll go past the second keyframe by like a second and a half. It's really up to you how you want to time this out. But we'll set the start offset to 100% as well. So now we have our animation following this path is nice and slow um, and it's great for what I want to do here. You can always speed it up. But one thing I want to do is actually hit U on keyboard, bring up the keyframes and make sure those last keyframes are actually right above uh, of each other. Uh, this way it won't be kind of waiting there at the end. It's really nice touch to do that. And we'll grab all our keyframes, hit F9 on our keyboard and make them easy. Ease keyframes. And that's good. All right. And then we can go to our blend mode here and set it to screen. This way we can overlay it over footage or any type of motion graphics you may have. And to show you how easy it is to duplicate this, go up to edit, duplicate. And we can come here and hit MR keyboard for mass path and we can delete it. And I'm gonna do a random path here, but I just wanna show you, it'll take whatever path that you create. So it'll take that path and it will animate along with that. Just to show you, you can also um, use say like the ellipse tool. So if you wanna create like a circle, so with our circle animation here, it just goes around in a nice, perfect circle. So you can like overlay it on like wheels like we did here, uh, compositing it over the footage. Uh, just really cool how you can do that. But I want to be able to make this meaningful. So I'll duplicate this and I'll hit MR keyboard for mass path. And I can take the mass path that I just did and, you know, I can come here and move it over. Right. And then I can grab, say, this top point that we did and I can move it up and maybe move it over a little bit more. So what's gonna happen is we'll have two identical lines here that do the same exact animation. And one thing I can do is come here to our color and I can change the color of this new uh, duplicated line to any color that I want. And you know we have a separate variation. You can change the preset to something else that you want to kind of mix that up. But I really like uh, keeping it the same here. So I can follow this path and duplicate it. You know, 
Hit MR keyboard, grab the mass path, move it over, just the top uh, point by a little bit, maybe uh, stretch out the vertices by a touch, just curve it out and change the color. And I'll get something really unique. So what I was going for by doing this, I was able to create all these separate lines uh, like this. So you can see they'll follow that animation and it looks really nice being able to create something meaningful like that just by uh, playing around with the mask. All right, so I went ahead and duplicated uh, my lines and put them in place exactly where they need to be. But I want to be able to talk about just taking this to the next level. So in our other composition, you can see as these lights move, they reveal on the background or like a floor. And you can see, you know, it's really hard to see that background. So I want to be able to like turn these into actual lights to light something else up. So it's really easy to do this. We'll take all of our saber layers and we'll just go to layer pre-compose and we can call it streak or saber uh, and click OK. So I have a background here and I will just put this underneath everything. And if you pre-composed, you might need to set your blend mode to screen or add just to kind of bring that in there and then we see our background. What we'll do is we'll take our background layer and we'll go up to layer pre-compose and we should call it BG. Move all attributes to new comp, click OK. Uh, and then we'll go into that composition. We'll grab our background layer, go to effect, color correction, curves, and we'll grab our top point here and we'll bring it down. So we darken it down. It'll make sense in a second while we're doing this. It depends on your background and how this is going to look. So you're going to have to variate this depending if you're depending on what background you use. Okay, so it's in there great so what we'll do here is go to layer new adjustment layer okay and we'll put this layer underneath our title right above our background then we'll grab our comp layer which we turn into the streaks or the saber layer and we'll duplicate that that's the uh, saber we'll put it underneath the adjustment layer then we'll grab our adjustment layer and we'll go to effect blur and sharpen and we're gonna grab a compound blur which is right here and we'll set our blur layer to the background and let's come into maximum blur and let's increase this all the way up to like over a thousand. And now you can see the lights just reveal on the floor. So we can scrub through here real quick, a little bit of a tough render on my computer, but you can see that the floor is just, or the background is only being illuminated when the lights pass over it. So it's a really cool motion graphic technique just to use these as actual light streaks rather than just, you know, simple motion graphics. Like you take this to the next level really quick by using uh, these techniques. And the titles that we use in this tutorial are from our templates with its own extension right here in After Effects. So this is our extension right here inside of After Effects and we can preview every single element before we apply something to our uh, After Effects project. And when we find a title that we want, we can click apply. And it automatically applies a full animation to our composition that we can go into and edit. So we can easily change out our titles and we come here to our control layer and easily change out any colors that we need to. And if we need to turn off any layers, we can turn them off really quick and it won't affect the entire animation. It keeps it all the same so we can easily update everything. And if we want to be able to spruce up our animation really quick, we can move over to like another of our packs called the Motion Graphics Starter Pack, which has titles, animated backgrounds, motion graphics, uh, shape transitions, and we can apply, say, a cluster to this. And this will help spruce up our entire title animation really quick or whatever project that we're working on so we can add more detail to our projects. So if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time and produce awesome work, you can take a look at any of our packs off of our website. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. So that concludes our tutorial on creating these light energy streaks. You can see it's really fun to do these and very easy to do it. So hope you enjoyed this video and are able to implement these into your future projects. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks and those links are in the video description and always be creating.